What if I told you that your very thoughts can literally shape your reality thanks to a hidden network within your brain? The reticular activating system is a really important thing to understand. We are exposed every day to millions and even billions of data points. We are exposed to way more information than we can, we can assimilate and that we can tend to. And the reticular activating system's job is to filter out what data we're going to tend to and what data is just going to be filtered out as noise. It is where the sensory input comes into our brain. It's, it's where everything that we see, everything that we hear, everything that we taste, the nose, what, what we smell actually goes through a different part of the brain, but all of the other sensory input comes into the RAS or the reticular activating system. The RAS is the bridge between the subconscious and the conscious. So it decides of all of the data coming at us all the time, which of those data points am I going to punctuate and really notice and tend to, and what am I going to just filter out as noise? And most of the time this happens completely subconsciously without us even being aware. If you can become aware of it and learn how to, how to direct and manage it, it can be completely revolutionary in your life and relationships. And let me give you a couple examples. Have you ever experienced like if you were gonna go buy a house and then all of a sudden you notice all of the homes for sale, you notice the ones on your street that were that are for sale that maybe you didn't notice before. I had a client share a really good example of this the other day. It was the, the 10 year anniversary of the death of her mom. So she was she was sad and she was, you know, she was having a hard time. And I guess her mom had her kitchen decorated in a certain theme, strawberries, I think. She went in the store and she saw this really cool little like jewelry dish that was strawberries. And it totally made her think of her mom. Then I guess there was a, a, a certain color that was her mom's favorite color. And she felt like she was seeing that color everywhere she looked that day. And then there was a, a, an animal that was her, her mom's favorite animal. And she was noticing those animals everywhere and the, the, the signs of those animals everywhere. That is what the reticular activating system does. Those data points are and were around my client all the time. There very well could have been, you know, strawberry themed things in any store that she went into. There are, are certainly animals around all the time. But what her, her RAS was doing because of that death day, because of that anniversary, her brain was subconsciously looking for signs and evidence of things that were meaningful to her because they were meaningful and reminded her of her mom. And that's what this that's what the RAS does. It is the bridge between our subconscious minds and our conscious minds. And it is why attachment style doesn't change. It is why we keep ending up in the same kinds of relationships over and over again. It is why people continue to treat us the same way. It is, it's why business ventures don't succeed. It's why we don't get jobs that we want or why we do get jobs that we want. It's why people uh, want us around or why people don't want us around. Th the reality is that literally in the thousands upon thousands of data points swirling around us at any moment and coming in sensory input into our brains, there is data to support almost anything. I see this a lot as I work with people. A lot of times when I first start working with people, they'll they'll tell me about how they met or their wedding or something like that. And, and because they're usually in a bad place when they start working with me, their brains will pick out all of the negative and hurtful things. Well, yeah, and she was late and you know she was 45 minutes late and and then the dress didn't fit right and then and our parents were super upset about it and on and on and on. All valid data points because of where they they are emotionally at that time their reticular activating system their their brains are are punctuating the data points that substantiate or support what they expect and what they think and how they're feeling this has happened so many times over the the, the almost 30 years that i've been working with people yep several months later just serendipitously for some reason after they've made a lot of changes they're in a better spot those same events will will come up we'll be talking about their wedding again or we'll be talking about the way they they met again and without any prompting they punctuate 
very different data points. They punctuate how beautiful the weather was and how great the dessert was and how nice it was that so many people came and supported them and how in love they felt as they got married. This exact same event and all of those data points occurred, but which ones get punctuated are filtered based on what we expect. And so somebody that has, for example, an anxious attachment style, what it, what do they expect? Well, the anxious brain expects to not be safe. They expect to be abandoned in their relationships. The anxious brain is subconsciously looking for data and for signs that they're going to be abandoned and that they're not loved and wanted in, in their relationship. And so then if texts aren't returned in a, in a timely manner or what they feel like is a timely manner, or you know if, if you were supposed to come over at five o'clock and you don't get there until 5.30, or if you're at dinner and you you look at, at somebody else, the anxious brain will automatically and subconsciously punctuate those data points as signs of danger, as signs of them not mattering and of them not being safe. And so what our brains do, it's this huge confirmation bias where our brains automatically are punctuating all of these data points that are there, but interpreting them and filtering them through the lens of what we believe and what we expect subconsciously. Where for the secure person, what does the secure person expect? The secure brain expects to matter, expects to feel safe, expects their partners to be sensitive and available to them. And so their brains, again, totally subconsciously are looking for data points of that. They notice the smile on your face across the table. They notice that you that you opened the door for them or they notice that you you put your hand on theirs when when they were sitting there. Again, could be the exact same dinner, or the exact same date and the the RAS, the reticular activating system will pull out and punctuate the data points that support or substantiate what you already think and expect. And everything else just gets filtered into the, the abyss, gets filtered out as noise because the reality is that our brains cannot tend to all of the sensory data and the sensory input that comes at us every day, all day long. We have to, just for survival, we have to filter out and decide which data points we're going to fo focus on and which ones we're not going to focus on. This normally happens totally subconsciously, but can you see how you can actually direct this process? This is one of the benefits of like a gratitude journal. What you're doing with a gratitude journal is you are directing your RAS. You're saying, okay, what are the things that I'm grateful for today? And then your brain starts picking out times when you might have seen the hand of God in your life or a great interaction that you had with your partner or with one of your kids or how one of your coworkers did something nice for you because you're, you're, you're directing the conscious data that your brain is going to punctuate. And, and there are lots and lots of, of benefits that come from that. You can do this as you work to rewire your attachment style because you want to, to rewire to a place where you actually feel safe in your relationships. You wanna choose people, be attracted to people who are willing to show up for you and who are willing to prioritize you and who are willing to do the things to help you feel safe. Well, you can, you can very proactively assess those things and direct the data that your brain looks for and punctuates. It is so important to understand this because it is very changeable. It is very actionable. The brain is rewirable in almost every way. You can change your core beliefs. You can change your attachment style. You can change the way that you might be sabotaging your relationships or setting yourself up to get not what you want, but what you expect. You can change all of that as you learn to control your brain. And we've got tons of resources to help you be able to do that. Go to drdenimslade.com and check out some of our resources.